Things don't always go the way that we want them to, do they? In aviation, it's not as easy to pull over to the side of the road if something goes wrong. That's why we study human factors. This presentation will look at the 12 primary contributing factors that affect human performance and cause error in aviation maintenance. Most revenue service flights happen during the daytime, which means that aviation maintenance usually occurs during the night when people's performance is typically at a low point. The problem with fatigue is that as aviation professionals, we tend to overestimate our ability to deal with it and underestimate the problem. When we are lacking the correct resources such as tools, parts, financial resources, or knowledge, the temptation is to take a shortcut to get the job done at all costs. This is usually done by bypassing regulations or procedures in accordance with the way that the maintenance manual states. We lead busy lives, and often there's many things that happen each day that sometimes take our attention away from the task at hand. Distraction is one of the killers, as distraction is the leading cause for forgetting a task. The key to dealing with distraction is to recognize that you've been distracted and to double check your work. We deal with a lot of pressure each and every single day. Things like deadlines, key performance indicators, or financial targets sometimes put an immense amount of pressure on us that can lead us into a position where we're not aware of what's going on around us. Ensuring that quality and safety are always put first is critical. Sometimes we're put into situations where we're unsure or afraid to speak our minds in a way that communicates our feelings, opinions, concerns, beliefs, and needs in a positive and productive manner. We need to make sure that at all times we do not compromise our own standards. A lot of the work that is done in aviation are team affairs. No single person can be responsible for the safe outcome of all tasks. However, if somebody is not contributing to the team effort, this can lead to unsafe conditions. This means that workers must rely on colleagues to make sure that work is done safely and effectively. Often we have procedures that are agreed upon by the majority of a group but are not documented. These are referred to as norms. The danger with norms occurs when they detract from an established safety or quality standard. This can present a risk to aviation standards, quality, and airworthiness. The human body is fascinating. It will naturally respond to events of the recent past or anticipated events of the near future subconsciously. The danger comes when it seems to be no escape from events such as family illness, financial difficulty, or relational issues which seem that there's no escape from. Sometimes we fall into a situation where we have a sense of self-satisfaction but accompanied by a lack of awareness of the danger. This is referred to as complacency. Complacency can result from overconfidence, stress, pressure, boredom, or many other factors as well. If we don't have the resources that we need to perform a task correctly, such as tools, manuals, parts, then the temptation is to do what we can to complete the job regardless whether or not we have the right material. There's an obvious quality and airworthiness risk if we try to accomplish a task with the lack of resources. Poor communication is one of the most common but also one of the most critical human factors elements and it is estimated that only about 30 percent of message content is received and understood correctly. This needs to be taken into account whenever we try to communicate with other co-workers, customers, or colleagues. Sometimes when we're not vigilant, we lose focus on the effect our actions may have on others. If we create a quality or safety risk, it is our responsibility to make sure that we educate other people in the future that may come across that risk that it exists. This can be done with signs, passover logs, or other information. These 12 primary contributing factors to human error are known in the aviation world as the Dirty Dozen. The Dirty Dozen were developed by Gordon DuPont in the early 90s as a method to improve human awareness about their interactions in aviation maintenance. I hope that you have enjoyed this brief introduction to human factors. Thank you.
created using Powtoon.